You don't go up to Batman and say, hey, Bruce. All right, I'm Donnie Rocker. I did not give myself that moniker. I'm glad I have it. I'm going to do my little quick TMV props. Um, Michael and I worked together for Sing Michiana. Got together about once a month. Um, that was a project. Mutual friend of ours, Jen Hopper, really was passionate about trying to get a community of people who wants, they, they want to sing, all right? Um, and some of us aren't quite as religious as the, uh, other people, because there's plenty of churches that people get to sing. But, you know, uh, she's inspired by this thing called Choir, Choir, Choir out of Toronto. Go to the YouTube, um, it's fantastic. You'll see how big her dream was. We'll see what can happen. Um, I knew, if not the founder, but perhaps one of the founders of the Music Village. I actually sat on front porches playing guitars with Kelly Ray Bowen. I don't know if anybody knows her, but yeah. um, she and I and all of our gang, we just kind of hung out a lot. I was still too much of a rock and roller, I think. That's okay. So that's kind of my connection. Um, I have, I'm going to use my notes only because, as you can probably already tell, I can probably talk and ramble like crazy. So this is going to kind of reel me in a little bit. Donnie Rocker, I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> and Gregarious Sagittarius. All right, so uh, the original title for this is called Making Change in the Ministry and a Music Scene. Um, do what you love and the money will follow. We've heard that, some, some of us have heard it. We kind of know what the reality is, but we try, don't we? We try. Um, I've been playing rock and roll for 40 years. Oh my God, um, but that's okay. Uh, I've been in a working band for eight years straight um, out of Elkhart to play bass. I've got a couple other bands that I play guitar in. During that same time, I've also subbed for people who are missing musicians. Um, I was in Memphis Underground as a bass player for a minute or two, so a lot of us know a lot of each other. Um, I, don't, I don't see Matt anywhere, wherever Matt went to. Um, and Joe, uh, I know you don't like math, I'm going to be talking a little bit about math. So uh, who's on Facebook? All right, Who, uh, there's this meme on Facebook, has a definition of a musician. All right, so a musician is somebody who has $5,000 worth of gear, mm -hmm. puts it in a $500 car, <laughs> drives 100 miles for a $50 gig. <laughs> That's not far from the truth. I do a little bit better, just a little bit better. Yeah, that's right. Well, I get to work really hard. Um, so I average about 100 bucks a gig, which Given the seven hours it takes start to finish, driving, set up, tear down, let alone the three or four hours that you're playing with the gig, it's a little less than 15 bucks an hour, but it's still you know better than minimum wage for doing something I like. So I, I kind of appreciate that. Um, I had a friend of mine that I worked with who was in uh, rock and roll bands in the late 70s and early 80s and played a lot of the same venues, different names then. They got paid 300 bucks a gig, which is kind of nice. Um, in today's dollars, that would be seven hundred eighty-eight dollars, seven hundred eighty-eight bucks a gig, almost eight hundred dollars a gig. But everybody working rock and roll bands around here is still getting the same three hundred dollars a gig. Um, I'm looking for a little bit of equity. I understand. We all understand. We love this community. The music community is great. But for the weekend warrior types like me, um, and there were a couple of Couple of months in the last eight years where I was a professional musician, so I, I needed all the money I could get, which was, which is fine. Um, and there's still those guys out there, but nonetheless, it's like you know if there was a little bit of more equity um, out of the venues, because the venues keep telling the musicians that's the way we've always done it, that's the way we've always done it. Well, you know what? You're not selling your beer for 25 cents. You know, uh, beverage prices have gone up, utilities have gone up, leases have gone up. If, and for those venues that promote having live music, you would think there would be a little bit of uh, moral turpitude to step up the 
people delivering the goods for them. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, but that's okay. It's quantity, not quality. I'm a rock and roll musician. Um, one band I play bass in uh, is, is a dance band, so if people aren't dancing, we don't play the songs. Um, I do have original music, though. And for original bands, it's a little bit tougher. Um, I had a band, Citizen Bob, a few years ago. Now you can say, Alexa, play Citizen Bob. And you can hear some of my stuff, which is really cool. Not a single check, but you can hear my music. Some of the songs I sing, you know, it's perfectly fine. Um, but the story I'm gonna talk about is uh, 10 years ago, I was in a band called The Dots. Now, part of our focus was we wanted to play original music, but we all at the time were kind of self-employed. So it's like, all right, gotta, what can we do to encourage people to come out, spend their well-earned money on knuckleheads like us, all right? So we, we had a catalog of songs. Um, I'm gonna name drop a little bit, Jim Peltz, you may or may not know him, but he used to own a music store. He's my bass player. And he was my bass player after he had his first stroke. <laughs> so the song I'll be playing is about what he was going through at the time. Anyway, so we had Jim, uh, Mike Janovic who stepped up. He owns the South End Music uh, Store right up Portage, past Franks. So, you know, these are people that really wanna contribute to the community. So it's like, okay, where can we find gigs? I'm a marketing guy by day, but I'm not a salesman. So I can come up with great ideas, but like walking the doors gets a little bit uh, uncomfortable. Right, Mike? Uncomfortable. Anyway, um, so I'm looking for a stage. I'm looking for a venue. I, I've been in bands like cover songs even back then. And it's like, okay, we gotta find a special place. What's the most special place in Michiana? The music village. They don't pay well. No, no they, they're perfectly fine. Um, the Midway Tavern, Mishawaka, Forest Street. How many people have been there? How many people have danced there? Big long hall, the stage is clear on the back. Loadouts, the front door clear in the front. So I'm thinking, maybe Albertina, who doesn't love Albertina? Maybe Albertina will allow our band to play. You know, we'll provide the music and we'll play strictly for the door. 100% capitalism, right? <laughs> it's like, all right. So we played there a few times and we decided we're gonna kind of up the ante a little bit. Um, how about, marketing-wise, we go $6 instead of usual $5. $6 for a single ticket, but a couple can get in for 10 bucks, all right? So it's like, okay, let's do that. I decided that I was gonna make sure I had 20 one dollar bills to help make change for this, you know, progression and cover charges. And so I, I turned that over to a friend of ours who was gonna collect the money for us. Um, and we were guys, we had t-shirts, we had stickers, we had buttons, we had a roulette wheel that you could spin, you know, play that last song over again, um, buy the drummer a drink, you know, that kind of thing. And it wasn't entirely self-motivated. But nonetheless, so here it is, the night that we're, Encouraging six dollars for single cover, uh, ten bucks a couple. And I'm thinking maybe we would drive more couples to come in and have more people. So I get up up on stage. I see uh, 19 people are out there kind of playing, you know. Um, again, math. It's like okay, we're gonna jam. It's like okay, 19 people. Worst case scenario, be nine couples and a single, 96 bucks. <laughs> right. So my band. Yeah, we know. It's not even close to 300. <laughs> Regardless if it was 1983, 300, or at that time, 2010, 300. So 96 bucks, like, all right, well, three piece band divided by three, that's gonna be $33. Uh, could be worse, could be raining. And we love the Midway Tavern. So we get done playing, and uh, I, again, I walk in with $20. $21 bills for the, the till, uh, played three or four hours, tore down the stage, hauled all the gear to that front door from the back. I mean, it's, it's like about a half a block. <laughs> and this is when I, 10 years younger, I, I had heavier gear. I had, 
No, I think you played me fast. <laughs> anyway, so it's like, all right, so 33 and I get like 25, that'd be about $53. I get $18. I don't even get my 20 bucks back. I get $18. It's like, how could this happen? I, okay. If it was like, you know, 19 times six, that's 114 bucks. No, the worst it should have been was 96. Am I, where's my $20? Why am I only getting $18? And the drummer, he comes up to me, Mike, he, he just looking a little sheepish. He said, I'm sorry. I had to pay the sound man. <laughs> so, that's kind of a war story out there playing original music. And I don't know, that's probably the kind of crowd that listens to the Moth Radio Hour or whatever. Um, so how does one change from the beauty of the story to the end of the story? Well, I know I make more money with my hair cut short, and I make more money playing cover tunes than originals. But I still write songs, and I, I'm enjoying all of this because I want to find my songwriting community. Anyway, that's the story. Okay. This song is called Street Walking. Jim Peltz uh, discovered that he had um, high blood pressure, which contributed to his uh, stroke. Thank you. I don't smell toast. Both corners are up. Anyway, so part of the routine that he got was he would just walk and walk and walk. And while we were in the band, um, I wrote this song called Street Walking. Um, you can go to Donnie Rocker with a Y on Facebook <clears throat> and find the demo of the entire band playing it. But I'm going to play the song for you right now. <laughs> You might find yourself on a wet dark street past midnight long before dawn. The darkest walls, the pools of light that get fewer as the night rolls on. Batting down your raging heart just wants to explode. words of fist batting down your region hard until it gets the road keep one foot before the next is all you can control normally there'd be a rock and roll guitar solo here maybe you know bluesy rock and roll something or another but I'm a band guy so I don't know how to do it by myself Thank you very much. Thank you.